And these are sizable books. They are minimum 200 pages. Uh, you can download them absolutely for free uh, by simply going to, for example, this one, you just go to getmymarriageback.com, smartrealestatewholesaling.com, uh, realestatemoneysecrets.com. So yes, I am a three times author and those books are out there for your, for your consumption. And they are also available everywhere on Amazon, anywhere that you pick up books. So in case you prefer a fiscal book like that. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, um, on this segment, we're talking about Wendy Osefo. She's a Nigerian, Nigerian American, like myself, uh, raised a lot earlier, probably in America because her accent is more American than mine. And, um, I, I, I brought this up because again, we're, we were talking today about, uh, well, family versus spouse, right? That's the main topic of this whole stream. Uh, this whole episode and um, you know um, the on the, it's real housewife of Potomac right you know the real housewife of uh, uh, real housewives uh, reality TV show franchise and then Potomac in Maryland right and she got on the show uh, quite all right of course it was opportunity to showcase Nigeria like Nigerians we take over everything right don't we right that's why I said African first. <laughs> Some people were thinking something else when I said African first. Well, African first is 50 countries. There's all kind of black people all over the place. You need strength. And strength is in numbers, right? So whatever you're trying to fight for, right? And uh, whatever you're trying to fight for, you need numbers, okay? So having us as allies, it's not a bad idea. So, But if you feel like you don't need allies, that's understandable. I'm sure you have your reasons. But you have an ally in me, personally, uh, African-Americans, you know, at any time, whatever you want to fight for, for your people, I'm, you absolutely have my support, okay? And uh, and I mean that, okay? And you have support of many Nigerians, never mind the trolls, you, have, you do. We have our own battles, right? But as black people, we have a serious problem. We're always butting head and, you know, this is a problem across board, black people, you know, and conversation for another time we will keep having that conversation as a matter of fact right now in the comment area i want to know what your opinions are in terms of black people coming together as a force to really really fight the power of oppressions against black people around the world right and then also i want you to speak to how the different tribes because you have your tribe i have my tribe how they can still work on their own individual things i want us to keep talking about that because that is a very important part of the conversation um, I respect the Shawares of this world. I respect the Tariq Nasheed of this world. I respect uh, the people that are the activists in Africa, the Pan-Africanists, whatever your belief system, um, the uh, self-determination people, the people, the one nation people. I respect all of that. It's not right and wrong. It's just our perspectives, you know. Uh, in my opinion, I think black people generally have serious problems. With that being said, let's get back to Wendy Osefo because I went through that. They showcased the Nigerian tribe and there's all kind of rumors around uh, Nigerian, of course, the Nigerian tribe, all that bullshit. We're humans like everybody else, okay? So we have all kind of nonsense, uh, cursed Nigerian tribe, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, this is their picture right here. They, um, they made it to the show and they showcased their family and part of the things that was showcased is how this guy um what's his name edward eddie osifo the husband of wendy how he's been disconnected from his family like basically because the mothers they butted head right um because of that they they basically disengaged from his family now the mother was all over the show and she was showcased multiple times, but somehow this guy's family was not around. And this was very sad to see because I was almost in that situation before. Uh, not, I won't say almost, that's not fair, but I could smell it. <laughs> I was like, wait, if I keep this behavior, if I keep encouraging certain behaviors, if I don't show up as a man, right, and put my foot down and, and do certain things, that, that were risky too because, you know, um, my wife had a place where she was coming from. She had certain uh, insecurities and stuff like that. If I didn't handle it with care, I could potentially destroy families, which was almost destroyed in my case. I'll tell you that story another day. But I could see the struggle and the pain in this guy's eyes. The last and the worst thing ever is that you're doing some kind of christening for the baby and your parents, your own parents could not be in the picture. I don't know what happened there, but I could predict it. This thing is, there's patterns everywhere. 
See, when people say, oh no, our experience is different, I was like, yeah, you're right. With that being said, there are patterns everywhere. I could see these things from afar, right? How come his family was not involved? How come he's the one that had to sacrifice important moments in the life of his kids, himself and, and his family for the sake of peace? How come everyone, this is something that I stylishly kind of resent, not with my wife at all, but with the extended family. Extended family, like I said earlier in the earlier segment, they are they're irresponsible for the most part. And I've come to accept it as what it is because, again, they're not in your family. As a man, that's your responsibility. But when I see it, it still pisses me off. Like, uh, back off. Like, you know how you see rain coming? Like, I, I called it earlier. I called it environmental factors, like the weather. Like, just things happening around that you can't control. The only thing you can do is learn how to navigate around it and still get to the result you're looking for. What you're looking for is a harmonious family. And frankly, his family are these four people you're looking at on the screen. That's just the bottom line. Your, your fa- so, when, so when we say family versus spouse, right? The spouse is the family. <laughs> no, the Sims don't like to hear this, okay? <laughs> they don't like this. Your sp- the person you chose to marry, you see when the scripture, that same scripture you like to quote when it's convenient for you, it says leave to cleave, right? precisely your family is the family you started once you leave your mother your father you go start a family so when you say family versus spouse that's a stupid question because the spouse is the family okay everything else becomes secondary yes including your mother your siblings right this is listen listen i know it's very hard to make this decision i know it can be hard for certain type of people sorry you're not a simp i'm sorry okay i know it's hard okay but it's like you're at a war right you're at war you're on a war zone a war front and sometimes you have to make very tough decisions right and you have to make one priority over the other while you can still love both situations right in this case the person you've chosen, that just makes sense if you don't want to destroy yourself. If you go read Ephesians 5.25, so sorry, Ephesians 5 period, right? You will see the structure there because you can't hurt yourself. When you put yourself in a position to make your wife secondary, you're hurting yourself precisely, okay? Because not only are you hurting yourself, your mother that you're trying to put on a pedestal cannot respect you because you're demonstrating that you're not man and she can smell it and she's probably if she's a good woman like most of them she probably would try to tell you like what are you doing right you don't have to do that and you're probably like nah nah mom you came first right mommy's boy shut the hell up okay there is structure in life and you have to learn how that works sometimes that's a difficult thing but you have to be able to see this and say okay why now here's why okay when it's your wife it's not about putting her on a pedestal. It's about treating everybody with respect, but everyone should be clear with the way you move. It's not something you have to say in words. I'm only saying this because I'm recording the video, right? It's not something you have to say in words. At some point, you just have to know that, hey, wife, my children, she's going to protect. If she feels good, everybody else will be happy. Oh, yeah, this is all that going on. The happy wife, happy life thing. Yeah, motherfucker. Exactly exactly you have a problem with that terminology because again you you lack you lack depth okay some people say range no fuck range you lack depth because in life it's about depth it's not about how much how many people you can you can make happy at the same time no you lose the battle by doing that it's about certain depth you go in deeper and that takes care of everything else right and that's how life works right but your problem is that you're trying to attach you're trying to apply leverage in the wrong point okay if you take care of this everything else will be happy that's just how life works it's not something you get to choose and if you go try to take care of every one of this just because you're stuck in your ego you're going to destroy everything because the right thing will not get the right amount of attention so what is this thing in this situation the person you choose to spend life with i don't care if you're marrying three four five wives the same principle applies as sometimes it's going to be hard to make tough decisions and it's hard to make er- nothing is equal in life like that you have to make a decision to strike 
at some point where it spreads out to everything else and make sure everything else is safe right so there was this video you know when i said um they just want to be africans african first blah 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 this is where that video came from he had nothing to do with the fba i know you probably came here because of that but nah i, I love my fbas uh, we're moving on with the conversation we're moving forward all right conversation but the truth is that when you start to a lot of people see us and they want to be us and they don't realize we have our own traumas we have our own situations we're dealing with and i want to play an example of it for you here right i just these people have their own problems family issues family feud right and when the family feuds what what do they say when the family feuds can you answer that in the comments let me play this short video for you right the sip and see, or as we like to call it, the Cooper Fit and one, is definitely the highlight of my first season. Oh, beautiful baby. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's see if we can get that load. Nigerian. Can I be Nigerian for you know the viewers to be able she to She wanna be a Nigerian. Nigerian it's it's uh it's Gazelle Bryant. Is she is she foundational black American? That's not the first person that I, I've heard want to be a Nigerian. As a matter of fact, one of my favorites in this space, um Jolasun Just J wants wants to have Nigerian. I give her a Nigerian name. I just I think I give her a second one. Yeah, I give her B Sola as a second name. Hopefully she rem remembers that and she watches this. But anyway, yeah it's not a bad thing let me tell you something let me give you some news flash there's so many nigerians that want to be black americans so bad they watch the hip-hop videos they've been watching hip-hop videos all their life they wanted to be tupac they wanted to be uh, uh jay-z they wanted to be bigger they, they know every line i can't see we we tend to forget to shed light on the beautiful part about all of these things but we want to fight right i get it political politics bring in the negative part of us but anyway no fight, okay? If you want to learn more about Nigerian, Nigerian culture and stuff like that, I will keep injecting a little bit here and there over time. I am an American by birth, Nigerian by heritage. I'm a Nigerian American. I am a proud Nigerian. <laughs> Did I say that properly? <laughs> right? So, they, so here's the truth, okay? We will continue to have this conversation until we figure it out.